Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Anuk Awards 2022. My name is Teresa Ra, and it is my pleasure to be your host for this very special ceremony. Tonight, we celebrate incredible athletes, amazing sporting moments, and the very best of the Olympic Games Beijing 2022. And we are joined here in the auditorium by representatives of more than 185 National Olympic Committees. And many more are watching from home around the world. Thank you all for being with us here. This is the eighth edition of the Anuk Awards, which was created by the Association of National Olympic Committees to celebrate NOCs and their athletes. The awards have traveled around the world and honored incredible athletes who thrill and inspire us with their exceptional performances. So before we begin tonight, let's take a look back at last year's awards. The ceremony recognized the best from London 2020, or Tokyo 2020, excuse me, and it took place on the beautiful Greek island of Crete. an amazing ceremony, but I hope that we can do even better tonight. After celebrating the best of summer last year, our attention now turns to the world of ice and snow and winter sports. Beijing 2022 put athletes front and center and allowed them to showcase their exceptional talents despite the challenging times. Thanks to the combined efforts of the IOC, Beijing Organizing Committee, NOCs, and IFs, the Games were a great success. Not only did we witness thrilling competitions, but we also saw how the Games unites us all through sport. That unity was clear throughout the Games and is also present in this room. But some things cannot be expressed through words. So here's a reminder of the magic of those games and the athletes who lit up the world. Tell me what you want and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm not giving up, come on, we got nothing left to lose. I've been here from the start, you know I'm not going anywhere. Tell me what you want, you can get it. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. I'm coming out of me, lightning bolt. 
It brings back all the emotions, doesn't it? Some amazing moments, lots of tears, and of course, amazing performances. I do not envy the judges who had to make the choices for this year's winners. But it's now time to find out the winners of the first category of this evening. And here to present our first award are Nevin Illich, Anok Vice President for Americas, and Emma Terho, IOC Athletes Commission Chair. And now the winner of the best female team performance of Beijing 2022, the Canadian women ice hockey team. And ladies and gentlemen, representing the Canadian women's ice hockey team, would you please put your hands together for star goaltender Anne Renee Debian. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I want to ask you, how did it feel to win back the gold after that heartbreaking shootout defeat in Pyeongchang 2018 mm -hmm. against your fierce rivals, USA? Uh, obviously, four years to think about loss is a long time, so very excited to win the gold this year. Obviously, we had a lot of adversity with COVID and everything else, so to be able to compete at this level again uh, bring back gold to Canada for the fifth time was an honor and a privilege. I know my teammates aren't here right now, but I know um, it's another reason to celebrate how amazing your team was. And amazing it was. Now, Team Canada, you were undefeated, basically, in the final run-up as well, and you played a big part in that as well. In one game, I understand, you made 51 saves. What do you say to yourself to keep so focused throughout the games? <laughs> as a goalie for Canada, we're not used to getting that many shots uh, so it was definitely a, a first in my career pay, playing for them but uh, uh, obviously just trying to stop one at a time uh, give my team an opportunity to win and uh, my teammates were able to score uh, many goals that game four of them actually so it helped us quite a bit but uh, just stop one at a time and then you look up at the end and you're like oh I actually worked today so it was <laughs> fun. Do you ever get upset at your teammates after blocking so many goals? <laughs> No, I don't get upset. I really love them. And I guess uh, our team was special. We had a lot of chemistry on and off the ice. And, um, well, sometimes I wish they let more shots on that, uh, but they don't always. But I really <laughs> appreciate them anyway. Well, congratulations once again, Anne-Renée Debian and the women's ice hockey team of Canada. Thank you. Photo. Ladies and gentlemen, please give
give another round of applause for our winner and also our presenters. Now, we're going to stay with teams and move on to our next award. And here are our presenters, Carol Leila, Anok Athletes Commission Chair, and Gert Kanter, Anok Athletes Commission Member. And the winner of the best male team performance of Beijing 2022 is the Swedish men's curling team. Please welcome Daniel Wilhelm Magnussen for the Swedish men's curling team. The team won gold in very dramatic style with an extra end victory over their British rivals. Congratulations. Now, Sweden, of course, has long been one of the dominant forces in curling, but Olympic gold was seemingly just out of reach until Beijing 2022. So what was the team's mindset going into that final? Yeah, thank you, everyone. It's, uh, as you said, it's been a very long journey for us. Uh, we've been fighting hard for many Olympic cycles. Uh, fourth place in 2010, bronze in 2014, silver in 2018, and now finally the gold. So it's definitely been a, a long journey. Um, our mindset would probably be just to, to, we were so happy just getting another chance to fight for that gold. Mm -hmm. And we knew if we would just play as good as we know we can, um, the other guys would, would have a hard time beating us. Right. right. Well, and I'm not just saying this because you are here, but unlike your other teammates, this was your first appearance at an Olympic Games. So I'm thinking maybe you were the lucky charm, the final key that made it successful. Um, apart from winning the gold, what is your best memory from those games? Oh, it's a lot of great memories, of course. But I mean, I've been on this team following them for so many years since I was a young junior. It may be my first Olympics, but I've, they've been heroes of mine since I was 10 years old. And to be able to complete this journey with them means so much. So it concludes everything over 12 years, I'd say. So right. it's a lot of great memories. And hopefully we'll see you at the next one as well. I hope so. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And congratulations once again. Daniel Willem Magnussen for the Swedish men's curling team and thank you also to our presenters. So two hugely deserving winners. We've had the best female as well as the best male teams. Now it's time for the men and the women to come together. Yes, you've guessed it. It's time now to award the best mixed team performance.
here to present our next award, Mustafa Beraf, ANOC Vice President for Africa, and Carlos Santiago, Pan Am Sports Athletes Commission member. Winners of the best mixed team performance of Beijing 2022 are Lindsay Jacobellis and Nick Baumgartner. Together with Lindsay, Nick showed that age is just a number as they made history winning gold in the mixed snowboard cross in Beijing. Congratulations, Nick. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. So Beijing was your fourth Olympic Games and very young, just 40 years old, but you were the oldest American athlete at the Olympic Games as well. So what were your expectations going into the Games? Uh, well, my expectations were the same as every other Olympics. You put that kind of hard work in and you fight for it for so many years. My goal wasn't to make the Olympics. My goal was to go to the Olympics and make some noise and to come back with some hardware. Um, I wasn't able to do that in the first three games. And uh, the last games I came away with fourth, which everyone knows is no man's land for an athlete. So it was unbelievable to be able to continue to chase that dream and especially at my age when people started to count me out and and I love that it's anyone can do it when it's easy but when you do it and you fight for it like that it makes a way better story so it's yeah. been an honor and unbelievable amazing it must have been so much sweeter actually to get it at your age and at this point of your career as well. But throughout your career, you have inspired so many younger athletes and other people as well. What is next for you now, Nick? Yeah, absolutely. Being able to, to do it that way and, and to be able, it's just an honor to be able to do it as long as I have, but being able to chase this dream, it, it has given me a platform to inspire many people. Uh, since February, I, sp I did 53 appearances, most of them being schools, and um, I'm trying to use my story to get more stories like mine. I'm from a very small community in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and um, I think those, those athletes think that they don't have a chance to do something like this, and I think my story shows that it doesn't matter where you come from, and it doesn't matter, obviously, how old you are, that it, as long as you don't give up on your dreams and you fight for what you want, anything mm -hmm. is possible. And uh, the number one question I've been asked since is, what's next? And um, as long as my body says I can do this, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. My expiration date as an elite athlete is coming very soon. Um, well, sooner than later, but until that day comes, we're going to keep going. My life has all been about living with as little regret as possible, and I don't want to wonder what if. So we're going to keep going, and we're going to keep inspiring others and, and hopefully come back with some more hardware. Amazing. We look forward to that. All Never right. give up. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Once again, congratulations to Nick Baumbutter and also Lindsay Jacobellis. Thank you very much once again to our presenters and also the winners. We are now going to move on to the individual awards. And first up is the best male performance. Please give a warm welcome to our presenters, IOC members Ivo Ferriani and Yusun Min. And 
the winner of the best male performance of Beijing 2022 is Huang Dehun. Please welcome Huang Dehun to the stage. He won gold in the 1500-meter short track speed skating in Beijing and set a new Olympic record in the 1000-meter race. So for this interview, I'll be asking him in Korean and try to translate for you. 축하드립니다, 먼저. 네, 그 하이라이트를 보시니까 뭐 수없이 보셨겠지만은 여기서 또 보면 또 감회가 새로울 것 같은데 어떤 느낌이셨나요? How does it feel to relive the highlights of Beijing 2022 for you? 지금 어떤 느낌이냐고요? 네, 다시 또 무대도 보고 그래. 어떻게 보면 좀 다시 기억이 좀 새록 새록. 떠오르는데 어, 그때 기억이 또 다시 나는 것 같아서 좀 기쁜 것 같아요. 좋은 기억이 많았나요? 아니면 어려운 기억, 어떠한 기억들이 생각이 나나요? 어, 아무래도 처음에 천 미터 때 좋지 않은 결과가 나와서 조금 속상했지만. 그래도 한계를 좀 돌파한다는 생각으로 경기에 임하니까 또 1500에서 좋은 성과가 나와서 어, 정말 기뻤었던 것 같아요. It brings back a lot of memories reliving those highlights of the games. Um, he was disappointed with the 1000 meter race but he was happy that he was able to overcome those difficulties and then do so well in the 1500 meter race as well. Uh, 어떤 인터뷰에서 봤는데요. 황대현 선수께서는 그 링에 설 때마다 설레임을 느끼신다고 들었습니다. 아직도 한 번도 그렇게 설레임을 안 느끼신 적이 없다고 했는데 어떻게 그게 가능한 건가요? I read in an interview that every time he steps onto the ice, he still feels a thrill and excitement, even though he does it every day and for so long. I asked him, how does he maintain that excitement? 어, 설레임은 늘 열정이라고 생각을 해서 열정이 없다면은 여기까지 오지 못했다고 생각을 하고 또 앞으로 있는 제 운동 인생이 있어서 계속해서 이런 열정과 설렘을 가지고 앞으로도 계속 도전하고 한계를 돌파할 생각입니다. I think that excitement is my passion and as long as I have that passion for my sport and what I'm doing I will continue to strive and to break through the barriers and set new limits or overcome new limits for myself as well. 다시 한번 축하드리고요. Thank you very much for our interview. Congratulations. here in Korea after his Olympic performance, but he's very modest. Now we are going to take a short break from the awards, but not from the excitement. So it's my pleasure now to introduce the Pisa Dance Company, who will dazzle us with a cultural performance. Please enjoy.
I hope you enjoyed that performance by the Pizzu Dance Company. If you did, please give them another round of applause. <laughs> they have given us a wonderful introduction to the second part of today's ceremony. We saw who won the best male performance of Beijing 2022. Now it's time for the best female performance. Presenting this award are Yu Zaiqing, Anok Vice President for Asia, and Kirsty Coventry, IOC member. Winner of the best female performance of Beijing 2022 is Eileen Ku. Put your hands together for snowboarding superstar Eileen Ku. Eileen made history in Beijing as, became, as she became the first freestyle skier in Olympic history to win three medals at a single game. Congratulations, Eileen, and especially for that fantastic run at Beijing. Three Olympic medals. Now, the first one I heard was very special for you because it was in big air, and you did something that you never even tried before, a 1,620. What made you decide to go for something so big in such an important stage? Thank you. The Olympics, to me, have always epitomized everything of what sports should be. They celebrate excellence while also emphasizing sportsmanship and respect. Sometimes when you're at the Olympics, you find yourself having to do something you've never done before, not even in practice, at a moment of intense pressure, so intense you've never experienced anything like it before. All in the hopes that maybe through that one trick, the 1620, you'd be able to inspire girls just like you all over the world to take up the sport you love, to break their own boundaries, to create unity and define what's possible. So I'd like to dedicate this award to all the incredible boundary-breaking pioneers that came before me, but also especially to all the girls that will come after me. And you guys inspire me so much. Thank you for the award. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, ANOC and the IOC for this incredible honor. Uh, and Thank you very much and congratulations <laughs> once Thank again. You.
please give another round of applause to Eileen Gu and our presenters. From an incredible athlete at the start of their career, we now turn our attention to recently retired athletes who have contributed so much to their sport over a long career. Our next award is Outstanding Sporting Career. And joining me on the stage to present this award are Cyprus Kapralos, Anuk Vice President for Europe, and Danka Bartikova, IOC member. of the Outstanding Sporting Career Award goes to Sven Kramer. Put your hands together for Dutch speed skating legend Sven Kramer. He is the all-time leader in men's speed skating with nine world all-round gold medals and nine Olympic medals. Congratulations, Sven. Thank you. You've achieved so much in your career, so many medals, so many records. Is there one in particular that you're most proud of? It's kind of like choosing your favorite child, but I know, but... It's quite difficult, actually, but uh, I'm most proud of uh, being so long on the top for a long time. My uh, adventure, my Olympic adventure started in 2006 in Torino, and then ended up in uh, 2022 in uh, Beijing. And uh, especially for me was specific the 5K, won four gold medals. I'm really proud on that. And um, yeah, that was special for me to win uh, three times uh, 5K in a row. Right. That is legendary, a feat. And on that line, I would like to ask you, do you have advice for athletes on how to stay at the top of their career for so long? What would be your one tip? Well, I think it's really important to work hard, get committed on your goals and trying to create a professional team with uh, specific uh, members of the team helping you all day long. And uh, I think it's, it's really important to have some fun. I had a lot of fun during my ride, and I could have done it alone. And I'm really thankful everybody was there during my ride to Olympic success. All right, well, thank you very much, and congratulations. Thanks. Thank you very much. Round of applause to Sven Kramer, and we look forward to him continuing his journey in other fields as well. Now, our next award is a little different. With 185 NOCs here in the auditorium, you know better than anyone how important it is to prepare your Olympic teams. Win or lose, the NOCs do everything they can to ensure their athletes can compete at their very best. Success, therefore, isn't always about winning the most medals. It can also be about making the biggest improvement. Our next award is 
most outstanding performance of an NOC. Here to present the award, Juan Antonio Samaranch Jr., IOC Vice President, and Paul Targat, ANOC Athletes Commission member. of the most outstanding performance of an NOC at Beijing 2022 is the Chinese Olympic Committee. Please give a big hand to the Chinese Olympic Committee. China, of course, bested its record for the Winter Games by winning a total of 14 medals, including nine golds, and they finished third on the medals table. Please give a warm welcome to the representative from the Chinese Olympic Committee. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'd like to ask you about the secret behind the Chinese team's success at Beijing 2022. Can you share a secret, how you did so well? There is no secret. Just uh, to tell our athletes to do their best for the uh, Beijing Olympic Games 2022. This is the only secret. <laughs> I understand that uh, interest in winter sports has grown immensely with the hosting of Beijing 2022. Could we expect Team China to do even better in the next uh, Olympic Games, the Winter Games? Yes, uh, this is our best uh, uh, performance in the past, but in the future we'll try to do uh, our best to get more uh, medals in the future Olympic Winter Games. Thank you very much, and congratulations once again. Thank you for Thank putting you. on such an amazing winter game. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching our last award of the evening. This special award is to honor individuals who have dedicated so much of their lives to serving sport. The final award is for outstanding contribution to the Olympic movement. Presenting this final award of the night are Robin Mitchell, ANOC Acting President, Gunilla Limburg, ANOC Secretary General, and Thomas Bach, IOC President.
and the award for outstanding contribution to the Olympic movement goes to Sir Craig Reedy. Ladies and gentlemen, please give Sir Craig Reedy a huge round of applause as he joins us on the stage. Sir Craig has served the Olympic movement in all possible roles, from chairman of the British Olympic Association, IOC Vice President, WADA President, President of the International Badminton Federation, and board member of London 2012 Organizing Committee. Congratulations. Thank you did, very much. Did we surprise you with this award? You were way in the back. Well, I was in row 422 <laughs> up at the back, so it came as a complete surprise, but the most enormous pleasure. You've well, well, very well deserved. You have so many highlights. We saw just a couple of them on the screen right now. Are there any moments that uh, stick out in your mind right now? Oh, lots. Um, uh, I suppose two uh, stick out. One was when the then president of the IOC announced that my sport became an Olympic sport. Badminton. And uh, secondly uh, was when Jacques Roger opened an envelope and used the word London. Mm -hmm. Of course. Sir Craig, you're being honored today because you have given so much of your life to sports. I wanted to ask you, what has sports given you? Uh, so many friends, uh, many in this country, because my first visit to Korea was in 1986 for the Asian Games, mm -hmm. which seemed to me to be a surprise test event for the 1988 Olympic Games. Uh, but for all these years, uh, the great joy of being in sport it's the friends you make and the friendships that last for a very, very long time. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for all you've done for the Olympic movement and congratulations once again. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please give another big round of applause to Sir Craig Reedy and our three presenters. Congratulations once again to all the winners. What an evening it has been. Meeting with incredible winners and honoring their wonderful performances from Beijing 2022. They're all, of course, deserving winners, and we wish them all the best for the future. And before we go, we have one last performance to celebrate. You may have seen them perform on America's Got Talent and also Italy's Got Talent. For others, this may be your first time, but either way, you're all in for a real treat. 
Just watch out for some soaring kicks, gravity-defying stunts, and in particular, some flying boards, and some may be kind of going rogue as well, so just keep your eye out for them. Please give a warm welcome now to the World Taekwondo Demonstration Team.
I hope you enjoyed that fantastic performance, and I also hope that you enjoyed today's ceremony. Thank you for being a fantastic audience. For those of you here in Seoul, please join us for the gala dinner now and enjoy the Beijing 2022 photo exhibition on your way out. It showcases results from the Anok Beijing 2022 photo project. And for those of you joining us from around the world, good evening, good morning, and Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Kamsamida.